saying shouts out to the NYs. You telling me it's a a nigga named Jay what? This blue division. I'm about to check that out. What safety valve me? Cause I don't fuck it with me, cold, but stop it. I don't mean ain't told. I'd have been hurt that. Now I wouldn't supposed to be on the record. I just realized that you uh my boy. You put Jeezy on your album two times. I wasn't only once. I remember playing that record for Young Buck when he got in the studio and came to the Blue Room. And I was like, "Cut, listen to this." And I played that hater shit. He heard it. Cut was like, "Oh, I need this right now. I'm sending this to Who Kid. I'm finna have this on the radio." He tried to act like he didn't hear me kick him all in his stomach. <laughs> Dead homies. Okay. <laughs> you stupid. Shout out, Sydney. Young Hootie, what it do? I seen a couple uh, months ago at, at the uh, bank. I shot a video at the trap. Posted at the trap and cuz I sent him a text and let him know I was going to be over there. Shout out, Young Hootie. Rest in peace, JJ. My West Side nigga. about that. I didn't know I didn't know nothing about that. I had ordered an autograph spot at me to take a long time ago. GJ never got it. We want to take care of that, Steve. That's probably Crash's fault, though. Go get that Crash from Trap LA. It's probably his fault. Yeah, I talked to Peace Smurf. What up, Peace Smurf? Where you at? They asking about you. They always ask about you, nigga. Peace Smurf, the hardest nigga to do it, especially if you want to split the Lying down, red rag, blue rag. I ain't no nigga fuck with Peace Murph. I got my money on him against any nigga. Ooh, shit. That shit burned my heart. I cut down. Was Game really claiming Santana? Seems as so. A lot of people say. Some say he wasn't. Some say he was. He at least lived over there. He wasn't ever really from it, though. You stupid, man. I'm gonna check that JD shit out. Back at you, Australia. Good looking. Good looking. Y'all heard Grimy with Mr. Criminal? 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 I'm on this new shit. Record called Grimy. For nobody, I'm vegan, all green over here. You heard? Spotalo.com, yeah, nigga, no, nigga was one of the first niggas to do this shit. You feel me? Fly first class, never use jet blue. Good looking. Y'all gotta go check out my new video, What's Happening, featuring Slip 400 and Compton AD. That shit hard too. SOS's? I don't know none of them. I know they, they like stop claiming the hood, like in general. Some still do it here and there, I think. That shit was whack. I don't know Rich the Factor from Kansas. Shout out to the low though. Yeah, West Hadden then posted at the trap. Politic and EP period going up. Oh, my mom was overrated. Whack ass shit. And they can't say shit about me. Torn with the unit was fun. Make it happen, hybrid. 
Good looking on that Cosmo. How'd I end up in the Master P movie? Actually, Master P ended up in my movie. Oh, I ain't got no problem with that, Ryan. How I get signed with 50? <coughs> He heard me rapping. <clears throat> I interrupted one of his conversations while he was with him, was started rapping, while he was talking. It was very rude. And he asked me to follow him, and be around him, and be down with him. Good looking, big baby brown. Man, I really don't know much about that shit. I kind of seen a little bit. Me and Fabulous, man, I love to do a uh, record with Fabulous. Fabulous Heart, <clears throat> that's the homie too, though, man. I'd have been with Fabulous in that uh, that BMF matching in Miami for a few days straight in the studio with him in blue. Didn't really get a chance to get on no record. We smoked a lot, though, and chopped it up. Yeah, Fab got bars, and Fab ain't no punk. Yeah, homies, I seen that nigga Fabulous do some gangster shit, cuz I seen cuz press sugar, like, hey, I mean, I know it might sound crazy, but that nigga Fabulous got on sugar, kind of, kind of, like, kind of G, blew my mind. And Fabulous was too deep. It was me, sugar, right up on the car that was in the hearing of what was being said. But as far as the road, as a click, we was out there deep as a motherfucker in front of the House of Blues in L.A. And nigga Fab was in a two-seater Benz with one nigga in the passenger seat. That nigga Shug had recently, he had get fresh out the pen. He had went to New York and was doing some radio. And Cuz said some shit on the radio like, oh yeah, it's the new road. We trying to sign acts. We ain't looking for no soft-ass niggas, no fabulous type niggas or some shit of that nature. And I remember that shit had kind of caught headlines. Niggas was talking about that shit coast to coast. <coughs> coast to coast. <coughs> 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 and at the time, <coughs> they was having a Def Jam party uh, at the House of Blues. And I remember the way we used to push around Hollywood at the time. Like, Hollywood was scared of Suge. He was fresh out. And we would get to a lot of venues. And the promoter would come out and be trying to explain the Suge. Like, we finna be closed in 20 minutes, 30 minutes. His capacity. They didn't want him in. And we used to be so deep. Suge used to be standing there smoking a cigarette. Eyes look like they closed. Like, you can't hear what the promoter's saying. And our whole entourage just slowly, like, It'd be forceful, but it wouldn't be aggressive. They'd just slowly start making baby steps, baby steps, and next thing you know, it's like we in here. That's the way we used to move around Hollywood. There was no such thing as keeping us out of the club. This now we at the House of Blues. They having a Def Jam party. This how I knew that nigga face on love. That nigga wasn't no buster either, cause all that funny guy shit I do back then. Cause it was like, uh, it was a Dev Jam party, and uh, we trying to get in the same way we normally do. They ain't fucking with shit. But only thing different about this is the club security. The reason we can't just do our regular mobbery like we usually do is the, the, the sheriffs is right by, like, it's the security. And it's like Sheriff Sprinkle. They not even, like, they acting so blind. They like, Suge, I wish you would. So Suge can't really do his regular shits like he usually do. So we, we, we kind of like lingering, me, Eastwood, the entourage, we out there kind of deep, just lingering outside the uh, House of Blues. And I remember that nigga Suge sent for Faison Love to come out. He told the nigga Faison Love, he like, hey, you tell them nigga Russell and them, they gonna be, uh, think they gonna be party in LA, ain't, and I can't get in, they ain't gonna be party. And I remember that nigga Faison Love looking at Suge like, all right, buddy. He cuz was in it. It was like a high profile party cuz had on like a, the sweatsuit you'll work out in, the cut off shit, cuz had that shit on. The sweat marks, you could tell he was in there boogie like a motherfucker. Cuz was like, all right, for sure, shit, like real sarcastic and went, looked at shit like whatever. He went back in there to the party. And now I 
while we just lingering, feeling like basically, I don't know if he was going to hang our way to his over or bone out. This nigga Fab just happened to pull up in the two-seater bin. I'm right there with shit. So, we, you know me, I'm a presser. So, as soon as that nigga pull up, that nigga like, get sugar, get tension, sugar, walk over to the two-seater. That nigga fabulous spoke first, like, yo, man, what's up, my nigga? You was on New, on New York radio in New York talking with you, woo, woo, woo. Swear to God, that nigga should kind of like came out his character with a little goofy smile, like, yo, it was, you, woo, woo. I was talking about niggas like you, you know it's all good, man. We're trying to work with niggas like you. I'm like, damn, cuz. And then he like, that's when the two-way pages was out, the big two-way. He told, he called Eastwood, he's like, Eastwood, get his hook up. And then, like, they changed hookups. I don't know what came from that, but, like, just the impression that fly, not so aggressive image you get of Fabulous being from L.A. Scene.